Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa Marie here, just in case you're new. Before we actually jump into today's video, I just really quickly wanted to highlight the last video that I posted, which is all about my hair growth journey and my top hair growth tips. Now the most special thing about this video is that every bit of ad revenue that is earned by this video is going to be donated directly to the Black Lives Matter movement. So simply put, more views equals more revenue. So I'm trying to get the views up on this video. So if you haven't watched it, please go ahead and give it a watch. I will link it up here and in the description box below. And if you have watched it, just go ahead and watch it again. Let's just get those views up, even if you're just playing it all day over and over again with the mute on, like, just do what you can do in order to help me get these views up so that we can get a good amount of money donated to the Black Lives Matter. This is a perfect option if you've been looking for a way to help, but you know, you're a little short on money during this time like everybody is. All you literally have to do is watch the video as much as you can. So just go ahead and do that. Share with your friends and family. Thank you so much. All right, so moving on to today's video, I'm gonna talk all about leave-in conditioners. Some people love them, some people hate them. Some people, that's all they use. So today, I'm gonna talk all about leave-in conditioners in general, and then also share with you my top three current favorites. Before we do jump into this video, please go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead, hit that notification bell as well, so you can get notified every single time the new new drops. I promise you will not be disappointed. All right, so leave-in conditioners. I would say that I'm a little bit picky when it comes to leave-in conditioners because I really need moisture. My hair tends to be on the drier side most of the time, so I really need something that's like super moisturizing, but at the same time, it has to be like very lightweight because my hair also tends to get build up very quickly. So I really don't like the leave-in conditioners that are super thick, super buttery, super heavy, like those I cannot stand. For my hair, I really need the consistency to be super lightweight, but then the moisture to also just be very effective. And for products in general, I only like to use products that are silicone free. I tend to gravitate towards the brands that use a lot more natural and less toxic ingredients. I also really like leave-in conditioners because I feel like they're like the first step to prepping your hair to be styled for the gods you know what I mean so I like to choose my leave-in conditioners depending on the type of style that I'm actually going for am I going for more volume and more shine one day or am I going for complete definition and depending on the style that I'm going for is going to impact which leave-in conditioner that I choose so right now I have three favorites that I kind of rotate this is another thing that I really noticed about my hair for each of these three, I've actually used them and got obsessed with them, so then I started just using only them. But then when I just used only these leave-in conditioners, after a while my hair was like, man, I'm bored and I need something else. So that's one thing I've learned about my hair. Like I literally have to have like a rotation of products that I keep using to kind of switch it up every time and that's when my curls are their happiest. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. The first one I want to talk about is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. Now if you're an OG subscriber and an OG follower from Instagram as well, like you will know that this is something that I've used in the very beginning of my natural hair journey all the way up until now. So since two years ago, I've been using this and this is one of those products that has consistently worked in my curls. My curls have changed a lot since my big chop and as it continues to change, certain products would not work anymore, certain products would start to work that didn't work before. It was kind of like a little bit of a confusing process, but this is one of those tried, tested, and true products that just worked for me all the time. So I really have two favorite things about this leave-in conditioner in particular. And so first, it's gotta be the smell. The blueberry is so nice. I love me a good fruity smell for my natural hair products. So this blueberry really speaks to me. And it's not like a super overpowering scent either. It's just nice and fruity and it's, I just, I love it. I also love the fact that this is not only lightweight, but yeah, moisturizing, but it is also pretty curl defining, at least for my curls at least. This, whenever I'm combing it through, I already start to feel it help to clump my curls together a little bit. So it's like a first step towards getting that curl definition at the same time. So I always actually like to reach for this when I'm looking for insane definition or if I need a wash day that is really gonna last me a long time, this is the leave-in conditioner that I'm gonna reach for. I also wanna point out the fact that Curls is owned by a black woman, okay? Female owned and black owned, win-win. 
All right, so moving right along, the next leave-in conditioner that I wanna talk about is the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. So this is a leave-in conditioner that is suitable for all hair types, and the thing that really attracted me about this leave-in conditioner is the fact that it literally says in the bottle that it's lightweight and buildup free. So like I said in the beginning, like that's a huge thing for me when it comes to leave-in conditioners. I need it to be lightweight, but at the same time, it has to be moisturizing. So that's like the thing that I tested when I first used this product. I was like, all right, I know it's gonna be lightweight. I know it's gonna be buildup free, but is it actually gonna moisturize my curls? And yes, she is boom. So the thing that I really love about this one, and this kind of goes for a lot of the Curlsmith creamy products that I noticed, is that when you comb it through your curls, it just starts to feel super juicy and kind of just melts into your hair. It just feels so, so good. I also feel like this does offer a little bit of curl clumping and curl definition as well, similar to the Blueberry Bliss Leave-In. And I also really love the brand Curlsmith in general. I just really trust that brand. All of their products are made with super curly girl friendly ingredients, so that really makes me happy. And I know that I can always feel good about using their products. It's silicone free, paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, DEA free, like it doesn't have any of the bad stuff in it at all. And then it's effective on top of that, it's, it's great. I also really like to use this when I'm looking for a really good balance between definition and volume. Like as the name of it, it's pretty weightless, so it doesn't really hold them tightly. I don't know, it just works in the best way to get you a really good mix between volume and definition. This also smells very good. It has a distinctive Curlsmith smell if you've used their products before. Most of their products kind of smell similarly. It is pretty fragrant, so I would say out of all three, this is probably the most fragrant. It has the strongest smell. It's not like crazy overpowering, and after a while it kind of goes away once your hair is dry. Um, but if you are super sensitive to fragrance, then I would say maybe skip out on this one. It is the strongest smell out of these three. Okay, and then last but simply not least is a leave-in conditioner that like really took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, but oh my gosh, love it. So this is the Care Care Curlescence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. So the reason why I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna like this is because it had coconut oil and castor oil in it. Nothing really wrong with coconut oil, my hair seems to be pretty fine with that, but castor oil is a little bit on the thicker side, so I was like, oh, is this gonna be buttery? Is this gonna be heavy? But no, sis, this is, this is, so good I like it literally took me by surprise like by how much I loved it I just noticed that I just kept reaching for it because the way that my curls responded with it is just it's so good let me see if I can show y'all so it has kind of a unique consistency so I just kind of want to show you guys so here it is it's nice and creamy but it's also got a little bit of like melted marshmallow vibes right like it's a little bit sticky but it's not too sticky because it's still got that creamy kind of vibe going on. It is like the perfect mix between a little bit of sticky, but that creamy moisture is there as well. So this is the least fragrant out of the three of these leave-in conditioners. It has like a very light, sweet, kind of coconut oily smell. It's kind of like that typical natural hair product smell. I don't know if you know what I mean. You probably know what I mean but it is just like a nice, light, sweet kind of smelling leave-in conditioner. This definitely offers a good amount of shine as well. My curls just feel so happy with it. It's kind of similar to the Weightless Air Dry Cream in that it kind of just is just juicy when you comb it through your curls. Really, the one that I use most often out of all three of these is this one right here. It is so, so delicious. I've also used this with a couple of different types of gels and it really works well with just about all of them. That kind of goes for the other two leave-in conditioners as well. They're pretty versatile and they tend to work well with majority of gels. I do have to say that I think this is probably the least curl defining out of the three of these. It doesn't really clump my curls very much, but it does give that intense amount of moisture without being too heavy and weighed down. I think that's my favorite thing about it actually is that the level of moisture is so high, like it's very, very moisturizing, but it is just, not, it's not heavy, it's not buttery, it doesn't weigh down my curls, like I literally have no complaints about this, and because my hair does tend to be a little bit drier sometimes, I think that's the reason why I picked this up 
most often because it's the most moisturizing leave-in conditioner out of the three of these. When you look on the bottle, it actually also says that it is meant for natural hair types three to four, and that's exactly me. I'm about 3C slash 4A, so this is actually curated for us. Okay, so that's probably another reason why it just works so so well for me. But yeah guys, that is basically it. Those are my top three favorite conditioners at the moment. Jot it down. What day is it? It's June. It's June 2020. I've lost track of the days, the time, the year, basically. But yeah, as of June 2020, these are my current favorite leave-in conditioners. If you guys have a few more, go ahead and comment them below. Let me know. I'm always trying different products and experimenting with different things. So comment your favorite leave-in conditioners below. And if you have any additional questions, you can comment those below as well. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't get a chance to in the beginning, you got one more chance. And then you can check out these next two videos. I'll catch y'all the next one. Bye.